The US made F-22 Raptor stealth fighter made its maiden flight in 1997, eight years before it entered service with the US military. This fifth-generation fighter has twin Pratt and Whitney engines, an internal weapons bay to reduce drag, and has the ability to spot bees when tracked on radar. However, 25 years on, U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General Charles Q. Brown Jr. announced that the branch intended to reduce its fighter fleet to a mix of smaller airframes. Despite all its impressive qualities, the F-22 fighter did not make it. This means that if the Air Force had succeeded, the F-22 Raptor could have been immediately retired from flight with just two successful air dominance kills. There are two reasons the Air Force wants to retire the Raptor, and they are closely related. The first is the large budget that must be spent to fly the aircraft as well as the large cost of maintaining the fleet so that it is ready to fight when needed. The second reason is that most of the F-22's technology is outdated by the standards of advanced tactical fighters. Yet the F-22 Raptor remains one of the most advanced air platforms in the world today. Everyone, from generals to journalists and politicians, are always comparing the F-22 Raptor to other top fighters, especially those flown by Russia or China. The problem is that the fighter is too advanced from its heyday. The Iron Curtain fell before the F-22 entered service, meaning that the Russian fighters, MiGs and Sikhois it was designed to counter were no longer a serious enough threat to justify its existence. And now that the prospect of large-scale conventional warfare has re-emerged, the F-22's integrated avionics are too old to be compatible with the Air Force's modern network communications and data sharing systems. In this modern era, the technology and systems installed on fighter aircraft become the benchmark for knowing its capabilities. The United States has a new fighter aircraft, the F-35, however, whether the capabilities and technology installed on the F-35 fighter aircraft are more sophisticated than the technology used by the F-22 Raptor. Is the F-22 better than the F-35? Better is quite a subjective word. The F-22 fighter is considered more advanced when compared to the F-35 fighter in some areas, and outdated in others. Both fighter bodies are already highly stealthy. The unobservable quality of the F-22 fighter, combined with its thrust vector control, makes it the best stealth fighter. It also has the lowest radar cross-section of any fighter in the air today. The F-35, on the other hand, is not as quiet as the F-22, but its stealth components are more durable. The Raptor began to shed its radar-absorbing coating while in the skies over Syria. The stealth technology on the F-35, designed with the Raptor's limitations in mind, is less susceptible to harsh atmospheric conditions and is also easier to repair. Another consideration is the F-35's greater combat range, reaching 760 nautical miles, compared to the F-22's range of only 590 nautical miles. In many situations, the Raptor's lack of range may not be considered a serious limitation, but it can be a big problem when flying missions against powerful adversaries, such as Russia and China. Refueling in the air would make the F-22 vulnerable to long-range missiles used by countries with advanced militaries. Some argue that the F-22 fighter's superior speed and agility do not necessarily make it a better dogfighter in this day and age. The latest US fighter. The F-35 may be slower and less maneuverable, but it does not need to be faster or more agile to defend against Chinese or Russian fifth-generation fighters or to adequately support ground forces. The F-35 fighter has certainly been criticized, but the reality is that its electronic warfare systems are more than enough to make up for any weaknesses it may have in close combat. It can share information with warships and AWACS, has an airborne radar system that provides command and control in the sky, giving all pilots in a squadron a more comprehensive view of their battle space. F-35 fighter pilots also benefit from a better personal view from the cockpit, thanks to a distributed aperture system that allows them to see inside the aircraft. Of course, 
The F-35 and F-22 are designed for war missions and will inevitably suffer damage in combat later. In a prolonged, large-scale conflict with a large, powerful adversary such as China or Russia, it may be better to have a multi-role aircraft that can be repaired or upgraded and then return to flight relatively quickly, i.e. the F-35, versus a platform that is less versatile and lacks the necessary support infrastructure to sustain it in the fight. Speed and Capability of the F-22 By the early 1980s, the Soviet Union had developed two fighters to counter the U.S. Air Force's F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. This left the U.S. in need of a warfare system that could not only be used against the Soviet Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker and MiG-29 Fulcrum fighters, but was also expected to compete with the next generation of enemy fighters. What the U.S. Air Force eventually produced was an unprecedented state-of-the-art aerial platform that had never been built before in the world. Extremely lethal and advanced, the F-22 fighter is what was expected from the joint venture between defense industry giants Boeing and Lockheed Martin. Delivered a fighter that has a super cruise speed of 1. 8 Mach without afterburners, a maximum speed of Mach 2, a combat radius of up to 600 nautical miles, and an endurance of more than 8 hours. In addition, the F-22 fighter is also highly stealthy, partly because it houses a wide array of weaponry in three internal chambers. Since externally mounted weapons would contribute to radar reflection, the internal chambers mean the F-22 does not sacrifice its stealth capabilities by carrying heavy payloads. And advanced electronic warfare systems and integrated avionics allow pilots to precisely aim air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles and bombs. Perhaps the most remarkable feature of the F-22 fighter is the thrust vectoring system that makes it so agile in dogfights. Nozzles on its twin engines can shift the thrust of the 70,000-pound aircraft in different directions as it moves to perform maneuvers that almost defy physics. With all those advantages and all that great technology, what the F-22 didn't have was an enemy. By 1997, the Soviet Union had become the Commonwealth of Independent States, and at the time the relationship between the US and Russia was actually quite warm. Meanwhile, China was still six years away from the beginning of its peaceful rise. F-22 Raptor in combat. Although it has been operational since the beginning of the War on Terror, the F-22 Raptor only conducted its first combat mission on September 22, 2014. The target was an ISIS command and control facility in Syria, specifically the Syrian, right side, of the building. The aircraft's precise electronic warfare systems worked as expected and destroyed the side of the building with GPS-guided bombs. The F-22 Raptor carried out strikes against a number of ground targets in Syria, but their role eventually became more focused on protecting other, less stealth-capable fighters. Like snipers on surveillance duty, F-22 fighters relied on exceptional stealth capabilities and advanced sensors to guard friendly aircraft from enemy fighters and from surface-to-air missiles. Perhaps the most important contribution of the F-22 fighter in the fight against ISIS is the threat it poses in the skies over Syria. In 2018, F-22 fighter waves entered Syrian airspace and forced Syrian, Iranian and Russian strike aircraft to retreat, while U.S. forces remained operational, even in areas with the most robust enemy air defenses. In air-to-air -air combat, F-22 fighters have a perfect record, just not against fighter planes. In two separate incidents in February 2023, Raptors shot down a Chinese spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina and an unidentified object in Alaska.